Hello everybody, my name is Brooke and welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new. Um, I'm sure most of you have seen my videos before if you're watching this video because this is kind of going to be a little update thing. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about my training, changes that are happening with this channel, overall just like what's been going on in my life because it has been absolutely crazy. Um, it's currently 11.30 on the day you're going to see this, like 11.30 in the morning, so I'm filming and editing this today, which I don't usually do with videos, but I wanted to get this up before I do some vlogs that have already been filmed in that and planned. There are just like a couple of points that I wanted to mention you guys and wanted to talk to you guys about, um, so I thought I would just sit down today. Today's a very relaxing day um, for me. I thought I'd drink my tea and talk to you guys about it. So I think we should talk about the thing first that most people are interested in, and that is my training. Um, I I'm a character attendant. A lot of people have been asking me like, oh, which attraction are you working on and stuff. I don't know where it got out that I was in attractions. I'm like, I'm very much not. So um, I don't know where that got out. I am an entertainment. I am a character attendant. Um, I've never worked in attractions. I was in merchandise last year, never worked in attraction in my life. So I'm not in attractions. I am in entertainment. I'm a character attendant this year. And I will talk a little bit about training. The thing is though, Disney has very much um, heightened their rules as to what you can and can't say when you are in entertainment. I am in a role where character integrity is extremely, extremely important. Um, and a lot of that would be compromised if I did talk too much about my training. So I am not going to talk too much about it. There may be a video in the future and I think what I'm going to do is either film one now and post it when I get home um, or I'm just going to write some notes and film it when I get home about my training. I'm not going to break character integrity no matter when I film it. I just know that there are certain words that, that need to be used. I need to say what I need to say very carefully. Um, so no matter what, it is not going to be posted until after I get home. I'm sorry, I know you guys. some of you guys were waiting on that for a full training video, um, but I will talk about a quick over with, overview with you guys what actually happened in training, um, but just because of how strict the rules are with social media and character integrity and stuff and just in general, and I totally respect Disney for that, um, I cannot talk about it while I am here and working um, just for specific reasons. I don't want to get termed, I don't want to get deported. Um, there are so many things that, consequences that could happen that I don't want to happen, so I just need to word that specifically and yeah. Um, however, what I can tell you guys is that I successfully passed training. Um, I did. There were five days of training. So the first day was like on the book learning. The second day was our debut day, so that's when we started working with characters. Um, I got to work with Pooh. He helped me out for a while. I got to work with Chip and Dale. They are so much fun to work with. Um, I got to work with Goofy. Um, I believe there were more. I got to work with a bunch and then the second day was the exact same thing. They got a little more in depth with it. Uh, really tried working us with it. Um, the main things were like be loud, um, be like assertive, like tell guests where your line is, um, make sure that, and uh, giving characters warnings when they need to, you know, take a five minute break. Like Pooh needs to go get some honey. Characters get, you know, hungry too. Um, so making sure you're letting the character know when their last family and stuff is um, so they can go, whether they have like an adventure with Christopher Robin or um, Chip and Dale need to go like collect some acorns or something. Um, just letting them know and keeping them up to date with that as well. Um, and letting your guests know how to close a line is obviously extremely important. What to say, what to say with care, um, what words to use, what not, words not to use because unfortunately um, characters cannot meet 24-7 so the lines do have to close and unfortunately as a character attendant I do have to be the bad guy in doing so. Um, so we learned about that a lot of that day one, day two. We were in Epcot training on both days. Um, we debuted in World Showcase um, at different times. Um, the second day I got to work with Gideon, Captain Hook, um, Goofy again, uh, Max. There were a whole bunch of different characters that um, were nice enough to help me out as I practiced my character attending. The next two days were in Magic Kingdom and these were probably like the first two days were hard because you were learning the rule but the second two days were very much orientation and it was a lot of things you had to remember. So this is when we were going around Magic Kingdom with our trainer and she was telling us where everything is. So you have to remember where the break room is, um, where the character meets, how the line set up for every single location in Magic Kingdom. And you are all over Magic Kingdom. So I will be doing 
everything in Magic Kingdom plus all of the character dining around the Magic Kingdom resorts, I believe minus Wilderness Lodge. Um, but I could be doing like the Campfire Sing Along, I could be doing Chef Mickey's, um, I believe Ohana, 99 Park Fair, any of that could be on my schedule. I'm really hoping to do a campfire. Um, I think that'd be super, super cute with Chip and Dale. Um, so yeah, I could literally be doing anything. My battery is going to die, so I'm going to charge it hopefully quick and be back. Okay, and we are back. Sorry if the camera angle is a little different. I didn't have to like take the tripod off or the camera off the tripod to put the battery back on. Um, but we were talking about training. So I did my two days Magic Kingdom orientation. Like I said, it's very, very difficult to remember where everything is like even now I'm just trying to like think of some stuff and um like where I have to go today today I'm working with Minnie and Mickey I might have a night shift there so very excited for that they're in their like 90th birthday outfits um so that's very exciting but it's just thinking well how did I get to that break room again um where were the set times posted like all that kind of stuff is just kind of like in my brain and like I have to think about it I have to memorize the um not memorize but like I have to have a good idea of the rotation for dining because I do have to do dining shifts on my next shift on Wednesday so I do have two days off actually um, Monday and Tuesday this week which is nice so today's Sunday um, I had yesterday off as well actually so I do get a little bit of time off which is very nice definitely planning on going to the parks um but that Monday, but on Wednesday I have a Crystal Palace shift so I have to know the rotation for that know how everything works um the whole process of it is very simple and I'm sure it will be fine once I get into a routine with it but at this point it is extremely overwhelming and it's a job that I finally realized as to why you should probably be in an alumni to know this job because it's one thing to know how Disney works as a company and then it's another thing to add this role on top of it and if I didn't have that previous experience not only just like knowing the different codes for things and like how the company what their expectations are um or even just like not even being if I had not traded my shifts last year to be in Magic Kingdom underneath in the Utilidors I would be so clueless so clueless but at least with working in so many places last year I can at least orientate myself um pretty basically and like I know I have an idea of where I'm going and how to get there because I did work so many locations all over the Utilidors. I kind of ish know where I'm going. Overall, the trainers are there because they want you to succeed. They want you to do well. They're going to do everything in their power to help you do well. Um, and they are the nicest people. So if you are going into training as a character attendant, do not be worried. Um, they did recently change, though. want to mention shorts also now take black socks. So black ankle socks. Don't worry about white socks. Just black ankle socks. Or bring... Yeah, pretty much just black little socks. Bring is so, so many. Um, you do also have to wear pants for dining, and Magic Kingdom has, I believe, only three main character attendant costumes. So there's the gold for Fantasyland, there's the uh, like black kind of pack-ish costume for Mickey and Minnie, which I have to wear tonight, um, and then there's like the classic blueberry um, blue shirt. So there are a couple different costumes that you do need to know which one to be in for which location as well. The next topic I wanted to talk about is our apartment. And um, roommate situation is fine. I just wanted to talk about kind of some of the things that are going on. So you guys want me to do a room tour. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests for a room tour and that will happen eventually. Right now it is very messy. Um, we're all in the middle of our, our starting training. We're all tired. We're all on the go all the time. So there's dishes in the sink. It's not the cleanest in here. So I'm not going to do it right now. Um, additionally, we are still kind of getting settled and there are some repairs that I'm kind of hoping housing will get done soon. We put in some maintenance requests. Um, the kitchen sink, the, we're in a Vista, three bedroom, six person, unrenovated. So there are quite a few problems. Um, the sink leaks um, from the actual tap part and the trim around the counter is falling off. The blinds in the living room are broken. Uh, they don't move. They're like broken broken. Nothing's happening with them. Um, I'm pretty sure the bathtub leaks. Still unconfirmed. Trying to figure out if that's a thing. And by leak I mean like the bottom seam, seam that like goes along the floor with like the caulking on it. I believe that's where it's leaking from. Unconfirmed. We're keeping an eye on it. I also, um, the bathtub is actually falling apart in itself. Once we figure out what's going on, then we'll put in the maintenance request for that because right now it is still usable. Um, it's just falling apart. Um, it's kind of weird when you're like taking a shower. Also, I believe our drain is pretty clogged because that water sits in the tub for a while, but there's no way for us to unclog it because the thing is like screwed on the little like drain cover. So I don't 
I don't know. Um, but it, there leaves like a big puddle and when you step on the floor because it's all like torn up it kind of goes like bubbly a bit. It's really really gross. Um, also half of the outlets in the apartment just don't work. Like there seems to be some sort of electrical issue. Not 100% sure why um, but it seems to, what we found so far is it's the outlet on Paige's side of the bed, the top one only. So there's like the double, it's only the top one and then the one in the actual bathroom does not work either. So there are a couple problems with the apartment that we're trying to get fixed. We're very short on dishes also. So I think if we just go to the surface center, they'll give us more potentially. Um, so we need to figure that out soon, I guess. So there's a bunch of stuff as to why I'm waiting to do that apartment tour. Um, just because I want it to be nice for you guys to see. My bedroom kind of area is pretty much decorated and it's pretty clean-ish. But there's just stuff out in the main area that's like... We're kind of hoping to get a little fixed up and make a little prettier, make us feel a little more at home um, before I do that. However, comment down below if you would want like a Vista Complex tour because I could do that pretty soon. Um, yeah. Kind of jumping back around back to like training and work and my schedule and stuff. I get to pick up a lot of cool shifts. I'm not sure if I mentioned yet exactly where I get to work, um, but on this schedule drop and the new schedule drop that came out last night, I get to work Mickey and Minnie, Crystal Palace, Be Our Guest, Princess Fairy Tale Hall, um, Chef Mickey's, and then the next week I have pretty much all dining. So I have another Chef Mickey's, another Crystal Palace, to Be Our Guest, and then I have a Mary Poppins shift. So I'm just kind of going to be all over the place. Um, I haven't done dining yet and I think it's going to be difficult but I think it's definitely going to be one of my favorites and I think working Be Our Guest is also definitely going to be one of my favorites so I'm very excited to be able to do that especially because upcoming I have three shifts there. Um, so I think that's going to be great and uh, Mary Poppins I'm also very excited for because I think that's very cool and apparently she's like her line's very chill because she's kind of hidden in the back. Like I didn't even know Mary Poppins met at Magic Kingdom until uh, we were doing orientation so that's pretty cool. And then on top of that, the last major thing I really wanted to talk about is the giveaway. I told you guys 2,500 subscribers there would be a giveaway and we hit 2,500 way sooner than I expected. I have not yet had a chance to go to Company D. I went to the Epcot one, but they did not have as much like in stock as I know the Magic Kingdom one has. Um, so I will be going to the Magic Kingdom Company D to get the cast member exclusive merchandise that I will be giving away. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, some lanyards, probably some pins. We'll see exactly what happens. I may do like one cast member exclusive thing with like an in-park thing. We're still figuring that out. Also, here's the deal. And I'm like literally I'm just being 100% honest with you guys. Um, right now it's also a money issue. Because I didn't start my training until one week ago today, that means that I don't even get my first paycheck until this coming Thursday. So like, once again, you guys are seeing this on the day it's filmed. I've been down here for a while already without having a paycheck. I finished my job at home over a month ago now. It's been a while since I've had a paycheck come in. I've had some major expenses. I literally moved down to Florida. Um, I've been trying to like fend for myself. I've, it's, it's been kind of rough to be completely honest with you guys. I brought down um, $450 in cash and that is now gone. I've been using my visa for a while. The exchange rate is ridiculous. So until I can get paid, I'm not sure if I can buy the things just because of the exchange rate if I did buy it on my visa versus buying it on my pay card, which I will do once I get that. Um, it's, and it's not even like I'm buying like a ton of things. Like everything I need is like food. And that's literally all I'm getting or like little things from Walmart that I need for like life. It's I'm not buying merchandise. I'm not doing any of that. It's just like how life is unfortunately. And on the DCP you're not making a ton of money. And I'm at this moment not making any money at all. So it's just become a little bit of a struggle that way I guess you could say. Um, just because of how everything's not working out. Um in money wise. Other than that though I am having a ton of fun going to the parks. Um, I have met some absolutely wonderful people here. I'm hoping to do some more collabs. Um, I've contacted a couple people about collabs and they're like yeah let's do it and then they just like completely ghost me. What? Um, so huh, maybe that might not be happening. We'll see how it goes, but um, I met Maddie, Phil Hart Maddie, she's wonderful. I have met just like a ton of Disney YouTubers down here already who are just the sweetest people. The people down here are so nice, so sweet, so wonderful, um, and I am really having a wonderful, awesome time. Wow, and I forgot to talk about the literal reason I made this video, my upload schedule. 
with life being crazy, I've decided to change my upload schedule a little bit from every single day. And not by much. What I've decided I'm going to be doing is videos every Monday to Friday, pretty much guaranteed. Monday to Friday videos. Um, and then sometimes, the, if I have extra content, I will post it on Saturday, Sunday. I'm still going to be posting as much as I possibly can. Um, it just means that every single day, there might not be like a video Saturdays and Sundays. Just the way my schedule works out, that's how I've decided to do it. My off days are usually going to be Mondays and Tuesdays. So Saturday, Sunday is when I'm kind of going to start running out of that content because my off days content I might be working long shifts stuff like that so hopefully we're still doing every single day in a perfect world there's a video every single day um, in reality we're doing Monday to Friday this week I believe there will be videos on weekends because I actually have currently this video plus two more already pre-filmed and then I have two days off so and then I'll, I'll work all night shifts so I should go to the parks in the mornings um, but the basic premise is that 4 p.m. every single weekday, there should be a video plus sometimes bonus ones on Monday to Friday. Um, I'm also going to start live streaming more on Instagram. I've tried YouTube live streams. I don't really enjoy them. Um, I don't like the format. I don't like the way they're set up. I feel like Instagram live streams work a lot better. I know some of you guys have said you don't have Instagram accounts. You can get one for free. Um, you don't even need to post on it. Just like come find me and you can watch the live stream that way. But all this being said, I am going to end this video here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're excited for all the Disney content yet to come. Um, go follow my Instagram because I will be posting all the time on um, Disney stuff. But thank you guys again so much for watching and I hope you have a magical rest of your day.